Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be taking three images and combining them into one using a very simple blending technique. Let's jump into Bridge and find out how it's done. So here I am in Bridge and I've got my three items here. I've got Hear No Evil, See No Evil, and speak no evil. And you might notice looking at the metadata that they were all taken exactly the same. So F13, 1 160th of a second, and ISO 100. And they were taken by my friend, Sean DeShantis. Okay, and that's actually me in the photograph as well, rather embarrassingly. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all three of them. So click on the first one, and then shift and click on the last one. And there we go, we've highlighted them all. And then if I click on this icon here, it'll open it up in Camera Raw. And here I can do any adjustments I want to do for this particular tutorial. I won't do any more than the bare essentials. Let's select all and then open images. And they're going to open for me in Photoshop. There we go. Now it looks like they're coming in a little bit ratty, but they're actually fine. That first one looked like there was some missing, didn't it? But there we go. It's all good. So here we go, we're in here, no evil. And what I need to do is make more room for the other two images. Now what I could do is extend out the canvas. But let me show you something here. If I just control or command minus to zoom out a bit. I'm gonna get my crop tool and then bring this out. If I now click the tick, you can see it's actually added pixels to this layer because it's the background layer. And it's added that background color, which in my case is black. I'm going to command or control Z just to go back a stage. Now, if I take away this log, drop it into the bin here, or the trash can, depending on what side of the Atlantic you are. And then I do the same. So I'm going to go in and crop this again. And you'll notice that if I come out and click the tick, this time it's just extended the canvas and it's actually given me some transparent area there. It's exactly what I want. That's good. Now what I need to do is make some room on the background, the actual gray background behind me here for the see no evil and speak no evil. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use content aware scale. Now I've already done a tutorial on that. So if you'd like more in depth details on that, there should be a link somewhere on the screen for you. But right now I'm just going to go and get a very simple lasso tool. And then I'm going to draw around me here. There we go. So just very quickly draw around and we should be done. There we go. So I've made a quick selection there. And what I'm going to do here is go over to channels and then create a new mask and you'll see it's called alpha one. Go back to the RGB and then layers and control or command D to deselect. Now I'm going to go to edit and content aware scale. And I'm going to protect that using alpha one. And I'm going to make sure this one's checked, which is protect skin tones. Now I want sort of the gray behind me here to be what's extended. So if I bring this a little bit out into the middle, I'm just going to hold shift to constrain it to the middle in a straight line, basically. And I'm going to press alt and then click. You'll notice that it goes out in a sort of from the middle, which is kind of the area that I wanted. Good. And then I can go from this side and make it a little bit more. And that's looking much better. Let's see if we can't bring this across. I don't need much more room, I don't think. That will do me just about fine. OK, there we go. There's lots of room with a constant kind of grade behind me. I'm going to click the tick. And now using the Move tool, I can just move this into place now. Good. Quite happy with that. Now I need to go and get the see no evil. So I'm going to pull this one in, but I'm going to crop it first. Don't need to bring all that in. So just a very simple crop just to bring this in a little bit. There we go. We don't want to lose too much. There we go. We'll click the tick and then with the move tool, just drag that over onto my new layer. There we go. Now the slightly different sides. If I bring the opacity of this one down, I can then check that my head is going to be lined up. There we go. And then using shift again, I can just make sure that it stays in a straight line and bring it over. Let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. And that's that one done. And I'm going to do exactly the same. We speak no evil. 
Let's bring that one in just a little bit. And then this one. I'm sort of bringing it into where the tones are very similar. Now, if you're doing this at home, you don't need a grey background. Any colour will do, as long as it's sort of different to what you're wearing and has no skin tones in it, you should be fine. So get your old sheets out. That'll do fine. All right, let's bring this over. And then just drop it in. And again, drop the opacity, just so as I can make sure that it's lined up reasonably well with the others. There we go. Okay, I'm done. Let's bring the opacity up. And there we have our three. I'm just going to crop this down just so Photoshop doesn't have to work any more than what it really desperately needs to. Let's bring this one up as well so it covers up the bottom there and then the top and we'll click the tick. Now I've got three layers. I click on the top one and shift click on the bottom so it selects the whole range and now I just go to edit and auto blend layers. Now usually when we use this it's as it is panorama probably but in this case stack images and we want to make sure that seamless tones and colors is also checked okay let's click OK and off it goes and does its thing and it's going to put a mask on for me on each of the layers and revealing some and hiding the others and there we go it's as simple as that if I zoom in a little bit you can see it's really really done a good job quite seamless Okay, I just need to make sure that everything's happy there. I'm good with that. I can now flatten that, so merge layers. That's all one. I can now add another layer on top of that. And if I wanted to, I can add some sort of lighting details. So I'm just gonna brush a little bit bigger, make sure it's in white. And now I can just pop some details on here. That's not big enough. That's not big enough. Let's do it the old fashioned way, shall we? There we go. And just a couple of bits and bobs like this. And then let's pop that into soft light. And you can see then that it kind of brings them all together if you have this sort of going on. That needs a little bit more than that. Here we go. Uh, it needs a little bit more than that. But you can see how we can then make the background and the lighting mix in with all three images. So there we are. My name's Eric Renault. Thank you very much for bearing with me. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and come along to tipsquirrel.com for a whole lot more, not just from me, but from a whole group of Photoshop nuts. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now.